Did you know that there are some mind-boggling mega-projects happening around the world? From building the prissiest oil field to expanding airports in crazy ways, constructing massive nuclear power plants, to creating super-advanced high-speed railways, these projects are beyond impressive. Let's begin with the fifth one on our list, Tel Aviv's Light. Number 5. Tel Aviv's Light Rail This is Israel's biggest public transportation project, and it's incredibly expensive costing a whopping $20 billion. It involves building three main rail lines known as the red, green, and purple lines with a combined length of 90 kilometers. These rail lines will carry 228 million passengers every year, and the first of the three is about to start carrying passengers. But why are they building it? Well, the Tel Aviv area has needed a big project like this for many years. To understand why, just look at how people currently get around in Tel Aviv. You can take a slow bus, call an Uber, or just walk. The city's population is growing, and that's making the traffic worse and worse. Israel has been thinking about a mass transit system using trains since the 1960s, but political issues and money problems kept getting in the way. Now, after 60 years, they're finally making it happen. Unlike many cities that build their train systems entirely underground, Tel Aviv is using a mix of underground and above-ground tracks. The first part is the Red Line, which is 24 kilometers long and runs from Petah Tikva to Bat Yam. Half of the track is underground, with 10 underground stations. This Red Line is just the beginning of a plan to change how people move around Tel Aviv. Over the next five years, they'll add the purple and green lines to the system. Now, moving away from underground trains, let's talk about a big project that will change air travel in one of the busiest cities in the world. It's called the Dubai Airport Expansion, and it's number four on our list. Number four, Al Maktoum Airport Expansion. Dubai has grown into a big global city and a major business hub in the Middle East. Many people from all over the world come to Dubai, and the city needs to manage all these travelers. Dubai has two huge airports, the International Airport and the Al Maktoum International Airport. The Al Maktoum Airport is quite new and used to handle about 1.5 million passengers each year. But now, it's getting a massive $33 billion upgrade, which will make it the world's biggest airport in terms of both size and the number of passengers it can handle. To understand how huge this expansion is, consider this. In 2019, the Al Maktoum Airport's busiest year it served about 1.6 million passengers. But when they finish all three phases of this expansion, it will be able to handle 150 times more passengers. That's way more than any other airport in the world. The construction is divided into three phases and includes four new runways, two terminals, four lobbies, and a massive cargo facility to handle 16 million tons of freight every year. They'll also build a 40-kilometer road and metro network to make the airport easier to get to. By the end of Phase 1, they expect to increase the airport's capacity to 130 million passengers. Some say it will be done by 2030, but considering the progress so far, it's more likely to be in the mid-2030s. Phase 3 is expected to be completed around 2050, and it will increase the capacity to 255 million passengers. That's more than twice the size of the current biggest airport in the world, Atlanta Airport. So why are they building such a massive airport? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First, Dubai is growing super fast, and soon there will be more travelers than the current airport can handle. Building this new airport is Dubai's way of getting ready for the future. But there's another thing to consider. Saudi Arabia, Dubai's neighbor, is also changing quickly. They're planning a huge airport in Riyadh, which could become the biggest in the Middle East, even bigger than Dubai's main airport. So expanding the Al Maktoum airport will help Dubai keep its status as the Middle East's business center. Now let's move on to another massive expansion project, unlike anything we've seen in the United States for the past 30 years. Number 3. Plant Voctal Reactor 3 and 4 We have the Plant Voctal Reactor 3 and 4 project, costing a colossal $35 billion. It's a massive nuclear project that's been in the works for 14 years. The idea behind it is to add two more nuclear reactors at the Plant Vocal facility in Georgia. Unit 3 of this project finally started running in July of this year, and once they finish the fourth reactor, these two reactors will produce an additional 2200 megawatts of electricity, 
which is enough to power around 500,000 households. But let's go back to how this all began. The plant Vogel already had two reactors that began operating back in 1987 and 1989, with a combined capacity of 2,450 megawatts. Over time, it became clear that coal and gas power plants wouldn't last forever. There are also challenges with the reliability and storage of wind and solar energy. Nuclear power plants, if done correctly, can provide clean and dependable energy to millions of people. So, in 2009, Georgia decided to upgrade this plant with the hope of shifting nearly 3 million consumers to a lower CO2 emission energy source. When they got the project approved, they thought it would be up and running by 2017 and cost $14 billion. However, even before construction started in 2012, there were delays due to increased safety rules and licensing issues caused by the nuclear accident in Japan's Fukushima reactor in 2011. Then they tried innovative designs to speed things up, but it actually caused more licensing delays. By 2015, the expansion was officially three years behind schedule, and the budget was adjusted to $22 billion. The pandemic also hit the project hard, with shortened work schedules pushing everything back. Finally, in mid-2022, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission approved plans to load Reactor 3 with fuel, but more problems popped up major issues were found, and they had to redo the wiring for the reactor. So after seven years of delays and a cost increase of 250 percent, Georgia Power finally started running the Unit 3 reactor last month. The Unit 4 reactor will be up and running by early 2024. Despite all the past problems, state officials and stakeholders see this expansion as a major success because it will provide clean electricity for the next 60 to 80 years. On the other hand, our next big project is a massive oil field development, and it could be one of the last of its kind. Number 2. The Kashigan Oil Field Next up, we have the Kashigan Oil Field, our number two project, and it's a big one, costing a whopping $50 billion. You see, oil is still a very valuable resource around the world, which is why countries and private companies spend billions every year to find new oil fields. Back in 2000, an exploration program in the Caspian Sea led to the discovery of one of the largest oil reserves globally. This massive field is located about 80 kilometers off the coast of Kazakhstan, and it holds a mind-blowing 13 billion barrels of recoverable oil. To put it in perspective, that's enough oil to power the entire world for five months. At the beginning, the project was estimated to cost around $10 billion, but the Kashigan development turned out to be incredibly challenging. The oil sits about 4.5 kilometers below the surface of the Caspian Sea, and the weather there is harsh, with temperatures dropping below minus 20 degrees Celsius and forming a thick layer of ice for months. Regular offshore drilling methods can't work under these extreme conditions and ice presence. So they came up with a plan. They built five artificial islands to avoid direct contact with the ice and provide a stable base for the drilling equipment. More than 5,000 workers stayed on these artificial islands, working in freezing temperatures to set up the pipelines. These pipelines would transport the crude oil from the wells to processing plants on the land. After a decade of construction and costs already over four times the original budget, the Kashigan oil field was finally ready to produce oil in September 2013. But just a few weeks later, a major issue hit. The main pipeline couldn't handle the intense pressure and sprung a leak. This forced them to halt the entire project again, and the costs kept going up. People were baffled at how a $50 billion investment, with backing from two governments and four major oil industry giants, couldn't produce even a single drop of oil. This kind of trouble isn't unique. Huge oil projects often face delays and go way over budget. A study by Chevron showed that between 2007 and 2010, only 8% of big oil projects were on time and close to the estimated budget. Despite the problems with the main pipeline, they kept going with the construction at Kashigan, and commercial oil production finally started three years later. Nowadays, the field produces a massive 400,000 barrels of oil every day. All in all, the Kashigan oil field was a complicated and extremely expensive project. As the world tries to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels, we might never see another oil megaproject of this size again. Number 1. The Chuo Shinkansen 
Our final mega project takes us to Japan, a country known for its architecture, traditions, craftsmanship, and efficiency. Japan attracts around 32 million tourists every year, and many of these travelers are particularly fascinated by one of Japan's creations, the Shinkansen, also known as the bullet train. These trains are a testament to Japanese efficiency, known for their incredible speed, reaching up to 320 kilometers per hour. In the six decades of their operation, delays are rare, and there has never been a single injury due to an accident on the Shinkansen. Japan is currently working on an ambitious extension that will push technological and speed boundaries like never before. This new line will connect Tokyo and Osaka in just 67 minutes, with trains reaching top speeds of over 500 kilometers per hour. To achieve these remarkable speeds, Japan is using maglev trains that hover just above the tracks with the help of magnets. The construction of the Chuo Shinkansen project began in 2014 and is being developed in two phases. Phase 1 aims to connect Tokyo with Nagoya by 2027, covering a massive 344km stretch, most of which will pass through tunnels. Phase 2 will connect Osaka to the new line, and it is scheduled for completion in 2037. Whether Japan can meet this ambitious schedule remains to be seen. If you know of other mega projects that you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.